Wives of Reddit, what is an explicit adult fantasy you could never tell your husband? Experience 1. To everyone wanting to try something with their partner, but not willing to face rejection, you might consider trying something like the carnal calibration quiz with them. It lets you fill it out separately, and then only gives results for where you overlap. Experience 2. Give me your freaking wallet! Yelled my friend to his girl while smashing, in an attempt to talk dirty. He's not comfortable dirty talking and this legendary sentence slipped out. Experience 3. I just want to watch him jerk off. Or even hear about it later. I think he feels embarrassed about it though. I loved doing this with my ex. I was the one who brought it up to him though. I told him that sometimes when I'm jerking off, I think about him jacking off in front of me, or while he eats me out, or us both masturbating in front of each other. He loved it and told me he thinks of the same. We started doing it after that. Maybe bring this up while tipsy that the thought of it really turns you on. Experience 4 I came into this thread not quite knowing what to expect but worrying that it was the sort of thing that was going to make men, in general, feel insecure. Almost every answer I've read is about wives just wanting their husbands, maybe wanting them more intimately or more vulnerably, maybe engaging in some kind of darker role play with them, but almost all about just wanting their husbands. It's honestly really sweet. It's reassuring actually. Experience 5. I'd like for my husband to initiate in a public place a bit of under-the-table action before leading me to a bathroom or secluded place and he takes me from behind without a word exchanged and then we carry on as if nothing happened. The less control I have the better. Experience 6. We had 10 out of 10 fireworks, mind-blowing intercourse when I was lactating. My nipples were so sensitive, and he loved to taste the milk. Like I could orgasm just from him sucking my nipples. I think he would be into it if I tried to induce lactation, I'm done having kids, but I don't want him to think I'm weird. This sounds crazy to type because we've been freaking for 17 years, there isn't much we haven't tried. Edit to add I'm 98% sure he'd be into it. He said it was like crack lol, but I feel like me bringing it up 7 years after stopping lactation would be weird. Like which is the least awkward of these one? Randomly mention I want to induce lactation as a kink and feel totally weird if he's not into the idea too. Start the process and hide it from him already weird and just like, surprise him with milk mid-intercourse? He would probably panic and think I'm pregnant and then I have to awkwardly explain. Experience 7. I want him to worship my body with just his hands and mouth. I also want him to just take control and not ask permission. Just throw me down, or up against a wall, and have your way with me. I make the decisions all day long and take charge in bed. Experience 8. I told my husband all of my fantasies and playing it out was never as good as I thought in my head. So now all I enjoy is gentle stuff, I just want to be coddled and cuddled and loved on. Pain is no longer my kink. But I needed to work out my physical trauma as a child so in the end it's a good thing that my explicit adult fantasies have changed. Experience 9. There's a specific type of British tailored three-piece suit that gets me going and he would look so handsome in it. I'd never mention it because the person he hates the most wears those suits. Then he'd be worried I was thinking about that person. Experience 10. I want to sit on his face, ride him hard, drown him in my jizz and asphyxiate him with my vegage. But not really because I don't want to actually kill him lol. I will never, ever tell him, but I do be thinking about it during my alone time. Experience 11. That I miss it in general. He's got a very bad spinal issue and is in pain management. It's been almost five years. I desperately want it, but only with him. 
We've been married for 18 years and had plenty of fun in the early years. I can't really tell him because it just makes him feel inadequate and that's not what I want at all. Experience 12. I have a pregnancy fetish. I don't want kids or the process of actual pregnancy, I just want to be put on pills to fill my boobus with milk and induce lactation and have them drink from them like they need it, and I want them to raw dog me like they believe I'm actually going to get pregnant. Just mindless, raw, instinctual smash 3 ing, then booba sucking neediness that actually produces breast milk. Experience 13. If I had a husband, it would be consensual non-consent, but he's tied down. I like the idea of a man who doesn't want intercourse but then ultimately begs me for it. There's a specific scenario wherein I kidnap my husband while having a mask on and my voice disguised, he's blindfolded and tied to a chair. I tell him about all the kinky stuff I will do to him. He begs me no, he has a wife, me, and he would die if he betrayed me. I tease him to the point he gives in, but he cries, so pathetic, poor thing then while he is crying his poor little eyes out, I reveal it as me mid-smash. My husband is going to have to be a good actor. Experience 14. Not married but been with mine for five years. I have this fantasy of wanting to be on display. Like almost as if my VJJ was being used to educate, spread apart, show everyone, have them touch it. I love the idea of feeling exposed and vulnerable. Also, to sleep with a woman, I've always wanted to eat VJJ. Experience 15. I'd really like to peg him while I stroke him off and make him jizz on his abs then lick it off of him while holding eye contact. I'm by and still have my strap and harness in a box buried in my closet so. Honestly probably will ask like we usually do with our kinks after a couple of bottles and some screwing around. Experience 16. This reminds me of this girl I knew years ago, she was friends with one of my exes. She was a very mild-mannered, nice girl, you would never think anything crazy about her even if you had known her non-sexually for some time. I remember the one night we were drinking, and she just blurted out how his explicit adult fantasy was to get gangbanged and just have D's all around her face everywhere. We all kind of laughed it off, but she seemed pretty serious and specific about it. Experience 17 When I was at an army school early in my career, we all lived in an on-post apartment complex with a two-room suite where you had a private bedroom and bathroom with a shared kitchen and living room space. About 75 of us in the class were broken into platoons, 30. One day one of the guys in my platoon says we all need to talk. He tells us that his roommate is abusing the girls he is dating. Say he smacks them around. He hasn't seen it, but he hears it. We are all progressive 90s guys and decide we are going to confront him and tell him that isn't professional and to stop. We do and he says. Nah man, she is into it. We tell him bullshit. He says. Ask her. Saturday comes around and he brings her over to a bunch of us BB Ching. She comes right out and says. I like getting slapped and smashed hard. Harder the better. For both. None of us said a word because we all had to pick up our jaws and she just turned and walked away. Wake up call for me. Experience 18. My husband has always been pretty physically fit, and overall, I like that. But sometimes I wish he was chubby, not obese, but something similar to Tony Soprano in season 1. There is just something kind of sexually appealing about a guy with a bit of chubbiness rather than barely any body fat and hard muscle. Sometimes it feels like I am cuddling with a statue. Experience 19. I mean, he kind of knows about it but he doesn't tap into it at all. He doesn't know to what extent, how badly, I want this. I want to be played with and ignored at the same time. The closest I have had is sucking midsection or being fingered with he is watching a video or playing a game on his phone a total of three times in the past 10 years. 
I want more. I want to be tied down until I can't move and left blindfolded with toys in me with him doing something else for a while I am left there. I want him to be playing a game with his Discord friends while I'm squirming. Maybe he changes the vibration modes to make sure I don't get used to it. Just love that stuff. Experience 20 I'm a SA survivor and I frequently fantasize about CNC, consensual non-consent equals R-word roleplay. But the one time I tried with a guy I was dating, I broke down in a full panic attack and forgot what my safe word was and just froze, dissociated from myself. The guy luckily noticed something was off pretty quickly and stopped to check in with me, I'm grateful that things turned off immediately and I got the aftercare I needed. I never tried again. I still to this day fantasize about it though lol. But at the end of the day, all I want is love and to be coddled and gentleness. I don't have anything currently, but I decided a while back I'm not settling for less. I'd rather be alone for the rest of my life than let someone touch me that makes me feel even remotely close to how I've felt in the past. We hope you enjoyed listening to today's stories. If you want to see more stories, check out these videos or check the links in the description for more videos. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And ring that notification bell.